Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic, and today we're going to be looking at how Sharky performed at ARC's September meet. Now, uh, Sharky was put into the non-destructive B League uh, at ARC just because I didn't have time to put everything together. Uh, and also, I kind of like Sharky. I didn't really want to put it up against heavy spinners immediately first up, especially being an untested robot as it is. Uh, the other thing that happened is I moved the bristle placement or the toothbrush placement on the underside of Sharky, hoping to get some better drive. And it seemed to work pretty well in testing here. It was moving a little bit more forwards uh, and a little bit less drifty. Uh, so let's move on straight into the fights. And the first fight up is up against a Bot Bits Blue, which is a flipper style robot, which it could be very interesting because Sharky is very slow uh, and yeah, also quite front heavy. So if we get flipped the wrong way, this could go really badly. Let's take a look. So that actually went better than I was expecting. I, I, Sharky survived for a lot longer in that fight than I was expecting, especially after the new bristle placements uh, made Sharky drift basically straight sideways on that first, uh, yeah, first power up. Like in that match, he just goes into the wall, which was not ideal to be perfectly honest. But it was kind of interesting and I worked out that by using a combination of like flapping the mouth open and closed and also turning the bristles on, I could actually get Sharky to kind of like meander forward somewhat, uh, which was kind of cool. Uh, we did manage to stay in the fight, which was good. We did uh, get flipped, but thankfully they flipped us from the side and we were on the side, we were able to like flap the mouth and get back down onto the bristles, which was really cool. And then I messed up because we got near the pit and I used the brushless drive system which kind of pushed us further into the pit whereas what I should have done is flap them out a little bit and kind of got us away from the pit. However, I, I think we were going to lose that one anyway because we were right close to that pit and yeah, if we hadn't gone in they would have pushed us in anyway. Um, 
But yeah, so there you go. That was that was Sharky's first ever fight, and like I said, I think it performed kind of admirably uh, for a first ever fight, especially my first ever, uh, yeah, brushless bristle bot drive. Uh, it worked better than I was expecting it to. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next fight, which is up against Shockwave, which is a, another kind of pushy robot. All of these robots in the B-League don't have big spinning weapons. The only weapons you're allowed to have are servo-powered, if you have anything at all. Uh, it's basically a league mostly for beginners to kind of try their hand before going on and building actual proper uh, weaponized A-League open robots. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, pushy robots in this league, which... Yeah, might be a bit interesting for Sharky to deal with. Let's let's take a look at that. One one, yeah. As Sharky, Sharky has a win. That's awesome. I mean, we can't really claim that win. We didn't really do anything to help that win along, but we do have a win. <laughs> oh, so yes, that that was unexpected uh, to say the very least. I, I was having some movement difficulties in this fight. There is just a massive mass of wiring in the back here, and one of the server lead connections kind of loosened up a little bit. Uh, and that was actually one of the server, because I'm using servo connections to run the actual brushless motors for the bristle drive. And yeah, one of those loosened up, which meant I was only running on one bristle motor or one vibration motor. And yeah, that kind of got us a little bit stuck. Uh, but at the end of the day, that didn't actually really matter all that much, apparently. Um, we still managed to win that fight, um, but yeah, I, I then needed to go back through and just like make sure I had all my connections taped up so that we didn't lose brushless power in the next fight. Speaking of which, the next fight is up against a robot called Killdozer, which has a nice big bulldozer scoop on the front of it. Uh, let's see how this one goes. <laughs> So, sorry about this fight, uh, I kind of got bullied into the corner and in underneath the camera quite a lot, so there wasn't a whole lot that you could kind of see of this fight. Don't worry, you really didn't miss much, there was just a lot of Sharky being kind of pushed sideways and wherever Killdozer wanted him to be, and most of the time that was like hard up against a wall and Sharky was just like bristling against a wall essentially. Uh, the mouth was kind of flapping around a little bit from time to time, but we weren't getting bites, and if we were getting bites, we couldn't do anything with those bites. Uh, that is the problem with a bristle bot system. Your opponent is just going to have more pushing power than you. That is the way that goes. Um, so, yeah, we kind of just got bullied around the box a little bit, and then got thrown over by the pit, and I made a mistake again. This time, we really should have activated the uh, the bristle system rather than the mouth system. The mouth 
for whatever reason, has been or had been up until this point in the competition, making us wobble forwards. But at this particular time, when we were close to the pit, it made us wobble backwards. And I have a feeling that's because when the mouth opens, the whole robot actually bottoms out across the back plate. So what actually happened is that we opened the mouth and the bottoming out happened and it just kind of tipped backwards into the pit. I think that's kind of what happened there. So I may have been safe when we had the bristles if I used the bristles rather than the mouth, but eh, what, what can you do? What can you do? So that was the end of uh, Sharky's run in the B League for this uh, ARC meet because there wasn't too many people in the B League and yeah, we lost two flights out of three, so we're not gonna move on to any sort of finals. However, there was a non-destructive rumble that happened at the very end of the competition, and I thought, just for the fun of it, let's throw Sharky in that. However, uh, Sharky had become something of a crowd favorite over the course of the tournament. Uh, the crowd did seem to love Sharky every time he was in the arena, as do I, I love driving Sharky. Driving Sharky is so much fun. Uh, but that meant that when I decided to put Sharky into the non-destructive rumble, I had a lot of people like, oh, we're going to take on Sharky. Um, so I kind of painted a big target on Sharky's back. Let's take a look at how this one goes.
<laughs> so we survived pretty well in that. And in actual fact, we got to do a little bit of drifting too because the arena was bigger. So therefore we got a little bit of time to like drift around the place, which was really cool. Uh, then of course, uh, things started going wrong. The brushless motors that are vibration motors unbolted themselves, which wasn't good. So I ended up losing both of them because the bolts came out. Uh, I thought that might have been an issue and I thought that I had hot glued them, but I must have uh, removed the hot glue at some point in some testing that I was doing between uh, building the thing and putting it into the arena. So yeah, we lost, uh, we lost both drive motors towards the end there. So we were literally driving around by flapping the mouth, which like I said, does seem to work pretty well. Uh, once again though, we have no pushing power. So as soon as uh, people decided they were coming for us, we just kind of got pushed into the pit and that was that, that was, uh, that was us done. But it was still good fun. I really do, really do enjoy driving Sharky. I'm going to have to do an upgrade to Sharky though. I really like to use Sharky and do driving with Sharky, but I think the Bristol system needs to go. I think it's something I'll look into again for a weaponized robot. I think it'd be good fun to do a Bristol system in a weaponed robot, but I think Sharky needs something that's a little bit more reliable, has a little bit more power to it. Uh, so we might even do a Sharky version two at some point in the near future. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one and I will see you in the next video.